let's learn about Asset Health Reports. The current status bar provides us with a summary of asset availability, as well as the number of online and offline assets. Below, we find a table showing our most problematic assets. These assets are the ones that have the most unplanned downtime, failures, and the highest labor and part costs. We can group them by asset, asset type, downtime reason, and location. We can filter our asset health reports by downtime reason to analyze the impact of specific causes of downtime. We also have the option to filter by downtime type. The charts in Asset Health are designed to make critical insights easier to grasp, such as an asset's unplanned versus planned downtime and unplanned downtime reasons. The unplanned versus planned downtime chart shows us how long an asset has been set to unplanned and planned offline statuses. The assets that have had the most unplanned downtime are found on top. Clicking any bar in the chart allows us to drill into the information further. To see the number of times a custom unplanned downtime status has been used, we can look at the unplanned downtime reason chart. In this example, inspection is the most common reason for unplanned downtime. The mean time between failures and mean time to repair chart shows how quickly we fix assets and how long we manage to keep them online. If we see MTBF trending upward, it means we are more effectively preventing failures. If we see MTTR trending downward, it means we are becoming faster at responding to breakdowns. The total downtime chart reveals trends in planned and unplanned equipment downtime. We can use this chart to track the impact of new preventive maintenance strategies. The Availability Over Time chart shows us how long on average our assets have been online, which helps us to better understand overall asset effectiveness. This chart can give us a valuable data point to factor into OEE calculations. We can unpack the data in any chart by clicking its title. Doing so brings us to the Details page which provides a breakdown of the data making up the chart. We can even adjust the grouping to change how the data is sorted. Finally, we have the ability to export asset health data for analysis and auditing purposes.